A little while ago, I did a video on replacing uh, the HT leads in this, my uh, Ford Duratec. And although I talked about the installation of the new leads, I didn't uh, explain why I chose the uh, particular uh, Bosch leads that I did. Uh, that's to say, you know, talking about the um, brand or the uh, type of leads. Um, in the automotive uh, aftermarket or accessory industry, there's often um, an awful lot of hype that you have to uh, navigate, um, often uh, various tricks, and uh, in some cases, just outright deception that you uh, need to be aware of. So um, to talk about that today with regard to leads, let's go straight to the internet. When I was researching this to uh, educate myself, I found this website from an American leads manufacturer. And uh, I'm not here to recommend them at all. Uh, their options were too expensive for my taste, actually. But I do recommend having a look at the uh, articles they have here on their, on their website. Uh, I'll link to them below. Uh, in short, they spend a bit of effort calling out the uh, shadier side of the aftermarket industry and uh, objecting to uh, all manner of false claims and gotchas that when you look at the car tuning scene, I think you definitely do see people falling for. Um, they talk uh, quite a lot about EMI suppression here and uh, quote unquote low resistance, uh, which are the two main uh, buzzwords to watch out for. Um, in essence, they say that the uh, the low resistance thing is mostly about production costs. And um, over on this other page, uh, the truth, they uh, they point out that the measurement of this low resistance is per a normal multimeter, um, as you see me doing here, uh, which uses a uh, about a volt of uh, test voltage to obtain its reading. And uh, that this isn't a real world test as it applies to HT leads because the high tension voltage is more like 45,000 volts. And the, uh, the current from that pulse from the coil, uh, it's, it flows through the lead um, in a magnetic field at the outside of the wires, um, what they call the skin effect, you know, as opposed to um, direct conductance through the, uh, the copper of a normal wire, as you might imagine it. So the multimeter resistance measurement, um, it is useful, um, as I explained in my other video on uh, replacing the leads where I had one failed, uh, because you can use uh, known specifications for your leads to uh, check issues with yours. In other words, there's usually a particular um, resistance uh, on a per meter basis that you can uh, check for. Um, I, it, the resistance will change as they age or start to fail. Um, but it's not the case that uh, you know what ohms a multimeter shows you on its screen means anything in the sense of less is better uh, when you're comparing uh, different sets of leads to each other. And, and in fact, this brand new uh, Bosch set is actually measuring higher resistance than the old Ford ones that I had. Um, but I'm much more concerned with the fact that they're not 20 years old with corroding metal, you know, little breaks through the materials and heat damage and the like you know, which end up leading to engine misfires one day. Uh, and I'm also not particularly recommending Bosch as a brand, by the way. It's just what I found as a uh, respectable aftermarket offering when I was looking for replacements. And they were cheaper than uh, Ford OEM. But really, I'm just here to advise you save your money and uh, check what you're being sold when it comes to these things. My conclusion was that uh, any half-decent OEM brand was the way to go. So that's all for today. If you're uh, looking to buy new leads for your engine, I hope you found that helpful. Have fun.